couple of comic book fans out there, let's talk about the first issue of Wonder Woman. This is the first of an ongoing series that's starting up after Rebirth. This, of course, is published by DC Comics. It's written by Greg Rucka, and it's illustrated by Liam Sharp. I've already talked about this before in a previous video, but Wonder Woman's had several different origins. One of the more popular origins was that she was made from clay by Hippolyta, who happened to be queen of the Amazons. She was then gifted by the Greek gods to give her all of her abilities. But this was taken away when the New 52 universe started up. Instead, in this universe, she's the daughter of Zeus. Many fans were upset about this. I was somewhat on the fence myself. I mean, I could have gone either way. I was okay with her origin being changed, but I also respected the origin that we had before this. Arguably, Wonder Woman is one of the most famous comic book superheroes of all time. She's definitely the most famous female superhero, but in comparison to the other heavyweights like Superman and Batman, her origin keeps getting changed up. Batman and Superman have been retold several times in the past, but the core of their origins always remain the same. Batman, he saw his family die right in front of him. Superman is the last son of a dying planet. So having a concrete origin for Wonder Woman I feel is very important. They can change some details here and there, but the core of everything should remain the same. With this first issue, Diana is starting to question her past and where she came from. In the previous issue, which was just called Wonder Woman Rebirth, she used the lasso of truth on herself, which I didn't even know she could do something like that, unless she's done it in the past and I'm just not aware of it. But using the lasso of truth on herself, she found that she'd been lied to and that her origin isn't what she thought it was. She's going to this area to get answers from the quote-unquote goddess of this region. She's also coming across this goddess's minions who happen to be some sort of were hyena creatures. I don't want to give spoilers as to who the final character is that shows up at the very end of this issue, but I do gotta give DC credit. Wonder Woman has always had a supporting cast, even though they haven't made the biggest impact in the New 52 universe, it looks as though this series is gonna fix that. Her and Trevor have had some linkings together, but for the the most part is more like he's her liaison and not really a romantic interest. Even though Steve Trevor has been admitting that he's in love with Wonder Woman, she's been dating Superman. Or at least she was dating Superman. She was dating the New 52 Universe's Superman, who just recently died. Which, this is another factor being put in there that a lot of people aren't upset about that version of Superman dying. This frees Wonder Woman up so that she may have some sort of romantic linking to Trevor. Or maybe they'll do that, I don't know. Personally, I'd rather have Wonder Woman be single for a while without her dating anyone or having any romantic interest. I want her to establish her own character again before she even thinks about pairing off. Etta Candy is another character who looks like she's going to have a very strong role in the ongoing series. She has been introduced in the New 52 universe prior to this, but she really had a tiny role. It didn't seem as though she was that important. Now she's been promoted to a commander. In fact, she's working with Steve Trevor. All in all, I'm really happy with this first issue. I've never been the biggest Wonder Woman fan in the past. Usually I just kind of read her comic books in passing, but now now I'm going to be reading them every time they come out. So definitely recommend this to anyone out there, even if you're only a passing Wonder Woman fan. This is a great starting point for everyone out there to kind of start back up and reading her comic book. Well, that's it for now. Thank you guys for joining me in this comic book review. Be sure to check out my Patreon site, my social media sites, my websites, and everything else out there. Peace, love, namaste, and I'll see you guys later. Peace. I'm sure a lot of people are already aware of this, but Wonder Woman is celebrating her 75th anniversary. She made her first appearance in All-Star Comics number 8 in December 1941. I'm sure as December gets closer, DC Comics is going to have some sort of celebration, or at least they should.